Today is December 8th, 2010, and welcome to Wednesday. I'm finally realizing why um, excuse videos are always kind of long, like, you, know, you watch them, people go, oh, I'm sorry, I haven't uploaded in three weeks or something, six months, I don't know, um, and you're like, why is the video three minutes long? Um, and I've filmed this a couple times, and I'm realizing that the excuses can drag on. Not even the excuse itself, but just tangents arise. And I have this list, um, there's some like notepad thing on the computer that I'm using, and I have a list of all the things that I need to say, so I need to get through them. But yes, first time I filmed this as well, I realized that I was still wearing my band shirt. Tonight was the, um, our music night, the concert, so that's why this is up a little bit later. Um, and last week, the reason that I didn't upload was because it was the night of the drama showcase, and it, there was just so many things going on, it just did not occur to me that I needed to film it. I, re I knew that, oh, you know, I have to watch um, Heather's video and Ian's video at some point, I hadn't really checked, but it just didn't occur to me to film one, so that's a little bit, it's a poor reason, but it's the only one that I have, so I'm sorry. Anyway, on with the other things in the world. Oh yes, I wanted to comment on um, busyness and being busy. This was the bit that took too long before. I know that we've, like a bunch of us have been saying, oh, there's so much to do, and then like, JR was like, oh, university, and here's, here's the thing, right? You can be busy doing things that you love, and you can be busy doing things that you don't like at all, um, and then there's the combination of them all, um, and it's not even so much a matter of how much you have to do, but it's how much time you're willing to spend on each thing versus how much time each thing actually requires. <laughs> that can be the problem sometimes. Before and after the concert, I was trying to commit trigonometric identities to memory, and it... <sighs> Math unit test tomorrow. Uh, whatever. Oh yes, Sean. I wrote Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't really remember um, what I wrote, but I have this. I had more, but I gave a lot of them to my brother, um, and my Pokemon cards are somewhere else, and that's like, that or something. I don't even know why I have them anymore, I just do, um, just because I like them. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping things. Anyway, Sydney, I really like your zebra hat, it's just awesome. Oh yes, as well, I have a bunch of things to say to JR. The thing you said about the guy in the bus, that's kind of... That's really awkward when people end up, like, leaning on you and stuff. Like, I don't like it on public transit buses when you're sitting somewhere, and then someone else sits down and they take up, like, one and a half seats, and you've got, like, yourself and all your things, and and they, like, stretch out, and it's, like, okay. And then you, like, they're preparing to sit in for a little while, and you need to get up at, like, the next stop. Um, but yeah, and then uh, this thing where... I'd be sitting in a car, and it doesn't even matter if it's someone I know, but I don't like touching people when I'm sitting in a car because I become really aware of the fact that I move around a lot. Like, even at sleepovers, when everyone's, you know, it's finally like four in the morning, it's four in the morning, but at some point in the morning, and then everyone's getting ready to sleep, and it's like, okay, good night. And I start moving around, and I'm making like lots of noise, and I, oh, it becomes so awkward. But yeah, and like turning and stuff. Especially since sitting in the middle, like at the back seat, sometimes when there's a bunch of people, um, I'm one of the people who usually ends up sitting in the middle, unless they're smaller people. Um, and then on turns, there's nothing really to hold on to, and you always end up leaning on the person next to you, and I don't know. With... Anyway, um, yes, I wrote the word business done on the blue board, and I don't know why or what that means. Kianja, I think you're fluent in the language when you're comfortable speaking it. Um, you don't necessarily need to not think about it because even speaking English I don't remember all the words and the only way to really become good at something like speaking language is to speak it so when you are comfortable then you don't and it's fine also there are lots of ukuleles this week and I don't have one so I feel kind of sad I don't know although I do have a guitar but I won't play it for you because it's 11 11 ooh it's 11 11 but I don't I was about to say what do I wish for I don't do wishes and stuff so Whoops. But yeah, so um, I think that was all I had to talk about. Anyway, I'm reaching the time limit. So yeah, bye everyone! <laughs>